We have two big earthquakes, uh, magnitude three uh, in the range of that. In the Christovic volcanic system, this is the northwest of the Clear Forward Lake and uh, a little bit toward the uh, Kalir. And uh, as you can see, they happened at around five o'clock in the evening. Uh, the location is marked by this green star. There are bigger earthquakes. And uh, as you can see here, just recent, you know, they just uh, uh, happened now. When we look at the depth model based on this data, this is what you will see. At the depth of five to six kilometers, we are seeing these earthquakes, large bubbles. Yep. You can see large circles of blue. These are the close to the clear forward lake. And uh, that's the earthquakes happen in this area, usually. And of course, these are related to the Christophic volcanic system. It's a big volcanic system next to the uh, Swartzengi and then the uh, Fagodesville volcanic system. After that is the Christophic. Christophic is one of those bigger ones. You can see the length of it is bigger even. When one happens over time, in geological terms, is very short practically, a snap in time. The next one happens. So we're expecting the gradually the sourcing volcanic system die down. And next one probably will be in the Chrysowic volcanic system. I have several videos comparing these earthquakes in the past. It's nice to with this one to compare them. Uh, the first one is the earliest one. We started today with a series of earthquakes in the LD off the coast of the Reconnaissance Peninsula on the mid-Atlantic ridge. And it ended with a series of earthquakes, surprise, surprise, in clear what what, where we have the Christovic volcanic system. And uh, as you can see here, the strongest of this was 3.3. And I marked the position of them. And as you can see here, this is the lake clear forward. And the uh, Christovic volcanic system exists. When we look at the GPS data, there is no uplift of the land due to the accumulation of magma visible in the Christovic and the surrounding areas. So practically, what we are seeing is not related to the accumulation of the magma at this stage, but at the depth of the uh, anything between the 5 to 9 kilometers, we can see something is happening. And uh, as you can see here, these are big earthquakes concentrated mostly in that depth, in that area. So in my estimate, these are probably mostly tectonic earthquakes. These are the blocks of rock moving, accommodating the movement. As you can see, this is the Eurasia and the boundary is moving. Through the transform faults, they transfer the movement from LD toward the east. And clear water forward is on the way of this transfer of the movement. Blocks of rock are mentioned at very depth. They may be connected or melted almost to join the lower part of the cross. But at the depth that you are seeing these earthquakes, these are just tectonic. These are the blocks of rocks moving like a domino, trying to accommodate the movement. We are having a cluster of the earthquakes in the vicinity of the Christovic uh, volcanic system. Uh, it happened today, as you can see, we have around uh, 20 to 30 earthquakes, and we can count them. Uh, at the depth of the 8 to 5 kilometers, uh, these are a small earthquakes. Some of them are bigger, but most of them are small. These are tectonic earthquakes, uh, rocks are moving and pulling apart by the forces of the uh, you know continental drift this is the contact point of the eurasian and the american plates uh, eurasian plates is moving uh, eastward and as it moves uh, to the transform faults transfers the movements toward the east this is Inside the Eurasia, the boundary part you can see in the red line, Eurasia is where this earthquake is happening and the eruptions are happening there. When it moves and to the pool, it creates and rips practically the ground, the earth crust, and creates what we call as rift. This rift you see there is the location of these eruptions. And over time, as this rift moves and ripping moves from one point 
to next one eruptions happens in sequence from the first to the second and the third these are the volcanic systems in that area uh, at the moment the volcanic system in the sourcing area is getting filled up uh, under the reservoir with the magma it will fill up as much as it can erupt when it drains and it cannot erupt anymore because every time it needs more pressure more magma actually to build up to create the same level of eruption so over time you practically gradually seize you know and gets weaker so when that gets weaker this is the term for Krisovic the eruptions will happen there